Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Very glad you are here. Today's topic is you are about to be blessed. Be patient. You are so close to your blessing where maybe you just have received a great blessing and now it's time to be in gratitude. But when I was thinking about what I want to talk about today, the message that kept coming through when I was writing and my guide spirit was telling me just like, you know, you need to get this out. It's for you. It's for a certain collective of people as well. And this is a message for you. If you clicked on it, first of all, clearly this message is for you. That's why you clicked on it because of course there are no coincidences, only synchronicities. So you are in alignment with what it is that you've been manifesting, what it is you've been attracting, wanting to bring into your life. You've been doing a lot of hard work. Maybe you've been working out, uh, you've been meditating, you've been writing, you've been whatever, uh, sifting through trauma and healing, you've been going to therapy, whatever the case is, you've been learning new skills, uh, reading a lot of books, um, all these different things to improve yourself or to let go of the past. You've been doing this for a while and you're at the point now where things seem to maybe be getting difficult, maybe things are a little more challenging in your life than usual, your financial situation, uh, you know, you've been going on dates, trying to meet new people and attract a new partner in your life, nothing seems to be working out. This is confirmation and reminder for you and myself, you are so close to huge blessings, huge blessings. So we'll talk about a little bit of this uh, and why I felt the need or was was guided to kind of talk about this today. There's a divine timing to everything. There's a divine timing to your life, to your success, for things to happen and blossom in your life. And it's uniquely different for you and your situation, what you're attracting into your life, because obviously we're each infinitely unique beings with infinitely unique circumstances, although we are very similar at our core. So right now, Although you've been working on these things, nothing has really come to fruition like you want. You are about to be blessed. You're asked to be patient just a little while longer. The word that came to mind, it's one divine timing, but the real expression that came up is divine orchestration. There's a divine orchestration going on in the background of your life right now so that you can easily attract and bring into what it is that you've been working on bringing into your life. And you're asked, you're being asked to just wait a little bit longer. And this is when it's hardest, right? Darkest before dawn. Uh, this is part of your test. This is part of the challenge. But what's happening is by being asked to wait, there's one, a divine orchestration that's happening. The universe needs just a little more time to line things up so it appears in your reality in a most beautiful and easy, uh, exponential manner that can show up even greater than what you had initially imagined or recognized. And also to be open that it may not show up the way you initially thought in your mind or planned because we're down here as human beings, right? Trying to plan and say, oh, it's gonna happen like this and make sense of it in our little human brains. But the universal spirit, the infinite, all that is, God, whatever you conceive, it, him, her, whatever it to be, is obviously much grander than just you and I, right? We're only microcosms of the greater whole. So you're being asked to wait while this divine orchestration happens in your life so things can happen smoothly. There's a divine orchestration, there's a synchronization that's happening in your life. And what's also happening by you being patient, asked to be uh, a little more um, relaxed and trusting is there's a momentum that's building. So you're being asked because there's a bigger blessing on the way or a cascade of blessings, each greater than the previous one that are about to come into your life. And by being asked to wait, it's like the water building up on the dam. There's momentum that's building up. There's a powerful force that's being built up by you being asked to wait. This is also part of a, your test, right? To pass the test, to bring the manifestations into your life. Uh, this is just building characters, understanding and helping you improve your under, uh, understanding and synchronization of energy mastery, self mastery, that by walking in faith and trust and learning to let go, you're mastering your energy in this beautiful co-creative dance 
that we're all in with the universe that's bringing in these manifestations into your life. So you are very close. You may be hours, days, weeks, months, or a year away or more, but understand whatever the timing is, it's a divine timing, it's a divine orchestration. Again, this is your confirmation. So the patience, the waiting is part of your test, but also you're building mo momentum, divine orchestration in the background. This is a reminder for you, what's most important at this time is to relax, which is obviously the most challenging, the most difficult, especially you've been putting in a lot of work and you're like, oh, I just wanna get out of this situation. I already wanna be in the end result. I already wanna be in this relationship. I already wanna be in my new job. I already wanna move cities. I already want this house, this deal on this house I'm buying to close. Yes, exactly, you want it very badly, the universe knows, and it's happening and it's on the way for you. However, the more you relax and trust, the easier the flow will be and the quicker you will speed up because the more that you really try to push and pull and kind of cling on and attach and obsess with having this thing or these blessings, these things come into your life, you're creating resistance. You're creating resistance and you're putting up a wall and you're actually slowing down the manifestation. So what's most important in this time and why I'm really making this video is to remind you to relax, to chill, to breathe, to slow down, to let go of the expectation of the outcome. It's on the way. You have nothing to worry about. You already know this as a light worker, as an awakened one, someone who is in the flow with the divine co-creative dance we're in with the universe, that relaxing the ease, that energy, because think about this, it's all about energy, right? Everything's about energy. The more you constrict, you know, like, man, I want this, I want this, I want this. Is that an easy energy or is that a restrictive kind of blocking energy? So if you're in that energy of, I want this to happen, hurry up, gosh, what's going on? Listen to that. That energy alone by me expressing that, you're creating resistance as opposed to just, just relax, just chill, just kick back. And that energy of relaxing, of flowing and chilling out, what do you think's easier for the, or the universal energies to deliver in that state of being? that I want it now, make it happen, what's going on, why isn't it here? Is that resistance or is that ease and flow? Or as opposed to chilling out, relaxing, learning the lessons, chill. That's the calm energy that's really open and inviting that opens up the opportunity and speeds up your manifestations for these blessings to come into your life, that ease, that flow, unexpected miracles. Because when you're relaxing, you're chilling and walking in faith and trust, You'll be surprised how much the synchronicities will start to kick in. All these things will start to fall into place magically. You'll start to meet the right people. You'll start to have opportunities come up and they'll come out of nowhere, right? This is the divine orchestration that's happening in the background. So reminder, relax, let things unfold. The more you push, the more resistance you create, the longer it will take. This is the time to remain focused on the end result and relax and trust. So focus on the end result. Just relax and chill, knowing that it's coming into your life. It is. Continue to do what you need to do, but enjoy this time of chill. Enjoy this time where it hasn't yet come into your life. This is also a period of rest and preparation. It hasn't come into your life because you need to chill and rest and relax. You need time to prepare because once this blessing slash S blessings come into your life, this cascade of upgrades, things are going to change rapidly and they're going to change in a big way in your life. And you're going to need, you need this time of rest because you need to build up your energy reserves and be fully energized because when these upgrades show up and these changes happen, it's going to take a lot of energy and a lot of effort to adjust to these amazing and awesome upgrades that are happening in your life. This is how it works. You might be like, all of a sudden getting a job promotion in a different city, it's the drop of your dreams and it pays 40% more and then you buy a house also and all this happens within like three months. Think about how much activity that is, how much rest you need in order to remain centered and in the flow in the midst of all these great changes in your life because that's how it works. That's what's happening, right? 
I moved to a new city, I got a new job, I'm about to get a new place right now, my own situation. There's a lot of other good things happening in my life and I can feel this huge buildup of momentum and that's why Spirit guided me to talk to you about this today to remind you to relax, to chill, to use this time to rest and prepare because when these upgrades come in your life, they're gonna come in big, they're gonna come in fast and you're gonna need that energy, all the reserves that you're building up right now in order to kinda just get that Skywalker chilling on a cloud, like riding the surfboard, the wave of life. You're gonna need that energy to stay centered in this massive wave of abundance that's coming to your life. So just chill. Trust, relax, chill, it's on the way. Quotes I'll leave with you today. Patience attracts happiness. It brings near that which is far. It's a Swahili far, uh, proverb. And this quote, I think, nails what we're talking about today just right on the head. The key to everything is patience. You get the chicken by hashing the egg, not by smashing it. Arnold H. Glasgow, or Glasgow. Not who that is, I should look him up, but those are the, uh, that was the message and the, really the quote, like think about that. I think that quote is so perfect for what we're talking about. Your blessing is the chicken, is the hatching. And the more you push, the more you try, you're like putting pressure on the egg, you're gonna crack it, you're gonna smash it, it's not ready to come out yet. Let the unfoldment happen naturally. Let this organically unfold. That is what we're here for. That is the beauty of the universe. If you already knew what was gonna happen, you wouldn't enjoy it. Enjoy the surprise, enjoy the miracles, relax and watch how it shows up in your life. The more you get into this energy of chilling, relaxing and openness, the more opportunities and also avenues you open up for the universe to bless you in. You're relaxed, you're open, you're not attached to anything, you're cool with the unknown. Think about that. When you're in the unknown and you're relaxed and you're chill, you're saying, hey, I'm wide open to all of these amazing, new, wild, awesome things coming into my life that were unexpected because you're not creating resistance, you're wide open. So that's what I got for you today, guys. You're about to be blessed. Relax and chill out and just be a little more patient and it is coming. You are about to be blessed big time. I know it. I know it in my life. And again, that's why Spirit wanted me to talk to you today about this. And if you clicked on this video, I promise you it's because this is the confirmation you were looking for. This is what you need. It's on the way. That's what I got for you today. I will see you for another video very soon. Love you guys. Peace.